in what world does Russia's Alex Lifeson call me up to play bass with him? That's the words of Andy Curran, Coney Hatch bassist and vocalist, who happens to be celebrating the 30th anniversary of his Whiskey and the Devil debut album, which was highly successful, got him on tour with Rush. He later worked behind the office at Anthem Records, which is Rush's record label. We talk about that and a lot more with Andy Curran. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Spinning off into a different tangent, I can tell you it spawned my the side project that I have with Alex Lifeson called Envy of None, where... Um, like everybody, we were locked up and I was, I was still functioning, doing work, but I kept going, wait, I'm in the, I'm in my office here, which is kind of like yours. I, I got a recording studio and I started working on music and, um, and it spawned envy of none with Alex Lifeson and I ch- um, exchanging ideas him, you know, never, ever did I think that anybody in Rush or, um, you know, Ian Thornley and Big Rack or Tea Party or any of those bands that I worked with when I was at the management company, I never entertained a conversation with them, John, about collaborating. I was the company guy. I had my A&R hat on. I had my management label hat on. And when Alex Lifeson called me and said, would you uh, do me some, do me a favor and play some bass guitar on a couple of my songs that I'm working on. 16 year old kid that saw them at Massey Hall is going like, in what world does this happen? In what world does Alex Lifeson call you and say, do you want to play some bass on my? Of course I do, but I actually said to him, John. I said, don't you know any other bass players? I think you got a guy on speed dial whose initials are <laughs> GL, and he's like, yeah, but Getty's writing his book and he's doing this and he's doing that, right? So I said, I would be honored to, I'd be honored to play some bass. And he goes, and I'll return the favor is the quote that he said. So I had um, met this young female vocalist from Portland, Oregon named Maya Wynn, and we had started collaborating. So I said to him, would you mind if I sent you something that I'm working on with Maya? Sent him the tracks, fell in love with her voice and boom, Envy of None was born. So that whole period of the pandemic and COVID spawned a ton of creativity a ton of purging um really made me focus on my family and how important it was and take advantage of that time really adjusted my life to realize how much um time i spent working and maybe not on the life balance i think that happened with a lot of people so it was a bit of a reset for me i almost think the covid was was um a massive reset for everybody and i and i'm I th- i'm thankful that i that i came out on the other side because i know a lot of people had a very difficult time but i i always say that i got horseshoes up my ass you know and and i've got some guardian angels upstairs that are looking after me because beautiful opportunities drop in my lap you know and um and and like the 30th anniversary of whiskey and the devil record and envy of none and all these things i'm like and, and what lifetime does that happen, John? I'm a lucky guy, man. I, I consider myself a very lucky dude. Hey, man. Hey, there's a familiar face. How are you, John? I'm, I'm doing well. You know, I'm thinking of writing a book called Everyone Loves Andy Curran. <laughs> Whenever your name comes up, like, I don't know, man. You know, I always say this. Reputation is someone else's business, Right. And yeah. I got to tell you, man, I, I, I remember I put it in my notes. Make sure you tell Andy Curran, everyone loves him. So there that's you very. That's how I started an interview. Very kind of you to say that. Isn't there a show called Everybody Loves Raymond? So we'll call it Everybody Loves Andy instead, right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, I, I, I'll get I'll, I'll get a little bit philosophical for you to start uh, the interview off and tell you that my parents raised me uh, with a very important fundamental um, path, which is treat people, other people, how you want to be treated. And I've tried to do that for for most of my career. We'll have more from Andy Kern in the next few days. He's celebrating the 30th anniversary of his debut album, Whiskey and the Devil, which gave him hits, touring with Rush, and some hit singles in there. We'll have more from him in the next few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Also, if you join our Patreon, you'll have early access to our videos. And you can also make a donation, all in the description of this video. And of course, links to Andy Kern and Coney Hatch as well. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.